hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So, let's get started. Okay, first up, what's on my nails? This is Color Club Beauty that I can't tell what the name of it is. We're going to use some white <laughs> flash and burn and a blue lover from the Mia Secret Blue Lovers collection. And I'm just going to do a quick marble on this nail. Just real quick because it's the background and we want it to be perfect. And yes, this is extremely sped up. I'm just kind of putting three little blobs of acrylic, the three different colors there. And just trying to drag it with my brush without actually touching the nail. So you just kind of try and get your brush to go through it, but not touch the nail. Here I'm just kind of figuring out the size of the nail so that I can kind of figure out exactly how I want the wings to be. Then I just kind of draw the wings out on a... This is um, the backing for a nail form, for just a paper nail form. Just kind of just figuring out how exactly I wanted her wings to come out. And then this is just the little dot for the middle of the nail form <laughs> that I usually tuck underneath. And we've got Perfection Sugar Sugar and just putting a dot on there and then Sea Glass. And these are the chat colors and I'm just kind of making the shape of the wing and I thought I wanted to kind of blend that in perfectly but I really kind of liked it to where the pink was just kind of spiking out into the green so I just thought it looked kind of cute that way I'm just kind of Trying to make it about the same. About the right size, about the right shape. I did not use that nail form thing. Or that I didn't use the thing that I drew the picture out on. I couldn't figure out how to get that on there. But when we cured it, that was quick. <laughs> yes, this the whole video is extremely sped up. So all I'm doing here is kind of getting the edge, taking off that little bit of extra that's sticking out and kind of making it spiky. So I'm just kind of taking some cuticle nippers and smoothing it all out. And I took a little bit of clear acrylic there and placing those wings exactly where I want them. I kind of wanted them to fold over the nail so that maybe they'd be wearable, but let's be truthful here. Nobody's going to wear this. <laughs> Nobody's going to wear this. Maybe on their pointer finger. That'd be easy. Now I'm just taking some silver gel paint and outlining those wings. It's not really going to matter right there at the on the right there at the nail because it's going to be covered up with the little fairy and then I drew her on there see if I I miss this yeah I must have cut out the part where I put a little bit of silver veining on the wings too then I drew her in a little bit so that I could kind of see what I was doing and this is just a nude acrylic and I'm kind of filling in her body. Yeah, I had to use 
a cuticle stick. Do you notice though that pencil really came off and mixed in with the acrylic? So if you're going to do this with colored acrylic, you might have to take your pencil marks off first. I decided to have her one leg up, putting the skirt a little bit higher so that it looks more like she's wearing the skirt. Do an arm, make up her leg a little bit better, make it more, and then bring her shoulder out because her shoulder would be out a little further than, you know, her body, obviously. And there's how she looks. I have her holding a rose. And that's how she looked when she was all done. Now I'm obviously I'm coloring her in and I'm really sorry, but she, <laughs> she turned out awful. But this is the first time I've ever tried anything like this, especially as detailed. Just when you're looking at it, just please remember that she is less than an inch tall. <laughs> She is tiny, so <laughs> please forgive me. Just trying to make her look as human, I guess, as possible. <laughs> Getting all of her hair and She was definitely tiny. Adding just a little bit of brown in there. I know I'm missing the underside and just a line on her dress there at the bottom. I think and give her a little bow in her hair. She doesn't look bad there. A little red rose. Well, pink anyway. Put a little shading on it. Little stem for the flower. Okay, here's where it goes really, really bad. I tried to do her face. Yep. Let's do a little shading here and there. At least I'm trying to. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't be cruel in the comments, okay? And we're just trying to give her a little bit of white. And then I decided to add some more fairy flakes around her with just a little bit of top coat. Because she is a fairy, she needs, you know, some more fairy flakes. And now I'm just top coating her along with everything else. And I'm thinking that I maybe should have left her a mask. Just wanted some more. Fairy flakes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the poor girl could use some help. <laughs> oh, I really considered not showing you guys this, but I figured, you know, this is the first time I've ever tried it, and I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, and it just goes to show you that you're not going to get everything perfect the first time around. But I hope you enjoyed this video, this epic. Ugh. I'll see you again next time. Bye.